so let's start with today's class in last class we uh, for everyone who are joined recently so in last class we discuss all the tips and tricks uh, of this subject what you should do how we will be proceeding so we have discussed everything related to study pattern now like how we are going to proceed what all is required from your side which books do you have to refer so in case you have missed that orientation session just make sure that you are uh, going through that particular video uh, again after the class in case you have yet not watch and we discuss some basics like we discuss circular flow of income uh, then we discuss the different uh, problems of scarcity uh, which choices does it arise so we have discussed all these things in uh, last class now in today's class we are going to start with the basic topic of this particular subject that is demand and supply so let's quickly start with the topics sabse pehle start karte hain with the first topic law of demand सो लेट स्टार्ट विद द फर्स्ट टॉपिक लॉ ऑफ डिमांड अब बहुत ध्यान से समझना दैट वॉट एग्जैक्टली डू वी मीन बाई दिस लॉ ऑफ डिमांड सो सी डिमांड का मतलब क्या होता है क्वान्टिटी डिमांडेड एट अ पर्टिकुलर प्राइस एट अ पर्टिकुलर पीरियड ऑफ टाइम क्वान्टिटी डिमांडेड मीन्स क्वान्टिटी दैट अ पर्टिकुलर कंज्यूमर इज विलिंग टू कंज्यूम एट अ पर्टिकुलर प्राइज इज नोन एज क्वान्टिटी डिमांडेड सो लॉ ऑफ डिमांड हम क्या कह रहे हैं वॉट एग्जैक्टली इज लॉ ऑफ डिमांड लॉ ऑफ डिमांड कह रहे हैं हम एक क्वान्टिटी जो एक पर्टिकुलर कंज्यूमर एक पर्टिकुलर प्राइस के कॉरस्पॉन्डिंग खरीदने के लिए तैयार है उसको कहते हैं क्वान्टिटी डिमांडेड या फिर डिमांड सो वट इफ आई आस्क यू वॉट एग्जैक्टली इज डिमांड यू विल से क्वान्टिटी दैट अ पर्टिकुलर कंज्यूमर इज विलिंग टू बाय एट अ पर्टिकुलर प्राइस एंड एट अ पर्टिकुलर पीरियड ऑफ टाइम नाउ लेट सपोज वी हैव दिस टू सेक्शन प्राइस and then another section is quantity demanded at a price of 100 quantity demanded is 200 matlab when a price of a particular good is 100 you are ready to consume 200 units of that particular good now when the price is 200 you are ready to consume only 150 units there is a drop in quantity demanded because of increase in price If the price rises further to three hundred, your quantity demanded has fallen further to hundred. So what is happening? As price is rising, quantity demanded is falling. Now why is this happening? This is happening because of two effects. One is my income effect. Other one is substitution effect. Now, what does income effect says? Income effect says that when your price has moved from hundred to two hundred, although income of the consumer has not changed, but can we say purchasing power has dropped? How purchasing power of a particular consumer has dropped? लेट सपोज पहले उसके पास थाउजेंड रुपीज थे थाउजेंड रुपीज में अगर एक पर्टिकुलर गुड का प्राइस हंड्रेड है तो वो उसके कितने यूनिट्स कंज्यूम कर सकता था दस यूनिट्स अभी भी उसके पास थाउजेंड रुपीज है लेकिन अब गुड का प्राइस कितना हो गया टू हंड्रेड तो अब वो दस यूनिट्स नहीं कंज्यूम कर सकता अब वो कितनी यूनिट्स कंज्यूम कर सकता है फाइव यूनिट्स तो दैट मीन्स ऑल दो माई इनकम हैज नॉट चेंज बट माई परचेजिंग पावर हैज फॉलन बिकॉज ऑफ दिस इंक्रीज इन द प्राइस This is known as income effect. Ab because of this fall in your income level, what has happened? You will consume definitely less quantity because your purchasing power has dropped. तो ये पहला इफेक्ट दूसरा इफेक्ट क्या है कि क्यों आपका प्राइस इंक्रीज करने से आपकी क्वांटिटी डिमांडेड बढ़ रही है एक तो हमने बोला कि परचेजिंग पावर कम हो गया क्यों परचेजिंग पावर कम हो गया बिकॉज विद द सेम लेवल ऑफ इनकम नाउ यू कैन डेफिनेटली अफोर्ड लेस गुड्स अदर वन इज दैट सब्सिट्यूशन इफेक्ट नाउ हाउ इज सब्सिट्यूशन इफेक्ट सब्सिट्यूशन इफेक्ट क्या कहता है कि लेट सपोज आप गुड ए की हम लोग बात कर रहे हैं इसका सब्सटीट्यूट है गुड बी मतलब इसको ऑल्टरनेटिव है गुड बी चाहे आप टी पी लो या फिर कॉफी पी लो दोनों एक ही बात है तो हम कहते हैं अगर चलो अगर टी अवेलेबल नहीं है तो कॉफी पी लेते हो सो सब्सटीट्यूशन मीन्स हम आपस में एज एन ऑल्टरनेटिव यूज कर सकते हैं 
तो अगर गुड ए का प्राइस बढ़ रहा है ठीक है गुड बी का प्राइस अगर चेंज नहीं हो रहा कॉन्स्टेंट भी रह रहा है तो हम यही कहेंगे यार गुड ए तो बहुत महंगा हो रहा है लेट्स डू वन थिंग लेट्स शिफ्ट फ्रॉम गुड ए टू गुड बी सो बिकॉज ऑफ द सब्सटीट्यूशन इफेक्ट ऑल्टरनेटिव गुड्स आर नाउ चीपर सो गुड बी इज नाउ चीपर कंपेयर टू गुड ए सो यू विल डिक्रीज योर कंजम्पन ऑफ गुड ए एंड यू विल इंक्रीज योर कंजम्पन ऑफ गुड बी दिस इज नोन एज सब्सटीट्यूशन इफेक्ट अब इन दोनों इफेक्ट्स की वजह से वॉट इज हैपनिंग इट हैज रिजल्टेड इन डिक्लाइन इन क्वान्टिटी डिमांडेड and this inverse relation between price and quantity demanded is known as law of demand now sometimes question comes why why does the law of demand prevail or what are the two effects that guide the law of demand so law of demand any two effects ki wajah se valid hai ek hai income effect dusra hai substitution effect income effect mein price badhne ki wajah se meri purchasing power kam ho gayi substitution effect mein price badhne ki wajah se alternative goods saste ho gaye jiski wajah se it has resulted in decrease in quantity so law of demand kya kehta hai if your price is rising your quantity demanded is falling if your price is falling your quantity demanded is rising so just make notes and then i will dictate some of the points corresponding to this so guys i hope this is clear to every one of you anyone who is not clear just put your doubts in the chat section <coughs> so write down let's make notes corresponding to this write down the law of demand states that the law of demand states that quantity of a good demanded quantity of a good demanded will fall quantity of a good demanded will fall as the price rises will fall as the price rises and rise as the price falls and rise as the price falls i'm repeating the law of demand states quantity of good demanded will fall as the price rises and rise as the price falls next point this reflects the income and substitution effects this reflects the income and substitution effects next point when the price of a good rises when the price of a good rises people will feel poorer when the price of a good rises people will feel poorer people will feel poorer as purchasing power has fallen as purchasing power has fallen when the price of a good rises people will feel poorer as purchasing power has fallen next point this income effect this income effect will lead to this income effect will lead to less purchase of the good this income effect will lead to less purchase of the good 
तो ये हमने इनकम इफेक्ट डिस्क्राइब कर दिया दैट व्हाट एग्जैक्टली एज हैपन कि जब प्राइस राइज होएगा तो परचेजिंग पावर फॉल होएगी परचेजिंग पावर फॉल होने से दिस हैज रिजल्टेड इन ड्रॉप इन द इनकम लेवल नेक्स्ट पॉइंट ऑल्सो द गुड विल बिकम एक्सपेंसिव ऑल्सो द गुड विल बिकम एक्सपेंसिव ऑल्सो द गुड विल बिकम एक्सपेंसिव रेलेटिव टू अदर गुड्स रेलेटिव टू अदर गुड्स सो पीपल विल स्विच टू ऑल्टरनेटिव गुड्स सो पीपल विल स्विच टू ऑल्टरनेटिव गुड्स नेक्स्ट पॉइंट दिस सब्सटीट्यूशन अफेक्ट दिस सब्सटीट्यूशन अफेक्ट विल लीड टू दिस सब्सटीट्यूशन अफेक्ट विल लीड टू लेस परचेज ऑफ द गुड this substitution effect will lead to less purchase of the good let's move to next topic demand curve suppose karo main aapko uh, situation deti hu jisme hum price aur quantity demanded ko hame graph mein plot karna hai so price 100 pe quantity demanded is 500 price 150 price quantity demanded is 450 प्राइस 200 क्वांटिटी डिमांडेड इज 350 प्राइस 300 क्वांटिटी डिमांडेड इज 200 एंड ये आपको लेट्स uh, से इसको आप एक्स एक्सिस पे प्लॉट कर रहे हो एंड इसको आप वाई एक्सिस पे प्लॉट कर रहे हो ठीक है एंड इफ आई आस्क यू टू प्लॉट द डायग्राम सो हियर इज क्वांटिटी डिमांडेड हियर इज प्राइस सो एट अ प्राइस ऑफ Hundred quantity demanded is five hundred. Let's say this. You will get a curve like this when you plot on the graph. This curve is known as. demand curve so what exactly is demand curve graphical representation of price and quantity demanded so you can see that it is downward sloping niche se ऊपर से नीचे आ रहा है कर्व इट्स नॉट लाइक दिस इट्स नॉट अपवर्ड स्लोपिंग वेन वी हैव कर्व लाइक दिस ऊपर से नीचे आ रहा है इसको कहते हैं डाउनवर्ड स्लोपिंग जब ऐसे नीचे से ऊपर जाएगा दैट मीन्स इट्स अपवर्ड स्लोपिंग सो कर्व इज डाउनवर्ड स्लोपिंग वाई इज द कर्व डाउनवर्ड स्लोपिंग बिकॉज ऑफ इनवर्स रिलेशनशिप सो इफ प्राइज राइज इज क्वान्टिटी डिमांडेड फॉल्स प्राइज फॉल्स क्वान्टिटी डिमांडेड राइज इज leading to downward sloping demand curve and इसी को अगर हमने equation में plot करना है उसको हम कहते हैं demand equation let's say अगर मैं आपको बोलती हूँ quantity demanded is equal to हंड्रेड minus p so that means अगर मेरा p is टेन तो मेरी क्वांटिटी डिमांडेड इज 100 माइनस टेन विच इज 90. इफ माय पी राइज टू ट्वेंटी क्वांटिटी डिमांडेड इज 80. इफ माय पी राइज टू फोर्टी क्वांटिटी डिमांडेड फॉल्स टू 60. सो अगेन यू कैन सी द इनवर्स रिलेशनशिप बट व्हेन यू प्लॉटेड बाय अ इक्वेशन दैट इज नोन एज डिमांड इक्वेशन द थिंग दैट वी नीड टू रेफर इज यहाँ पे माइनस साइन है 
ये माइनस साइन यही सिग्निफाई करेगा यू कैन हैव इक्वेशन लाइक दिस हंड्रेड माइनस टू पी और फाइव हंड्रेड माइनस थ्री पी दिस माइनस साइन बेसिकली शोज ड्रॉप इन क्वान्टिटी एज अ रिजल्ट ऑफ इंक्रीज इन प्राइस clear to everyone anyone who is not yet clear make sure you put on your doubts in the chat section let's move to next topic now factors affecting demand or we say determinants of demand सो ए फैक्टर तो हमने देख लिया दैट प्राइस इज़ वन ऑफ द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट फैक्टर विच अफेक्ट्स योर क्वांटिटी डिमांडेड नाउ अपार्ट फ्रॉम प्राइस लेट्स डिस्कस अनदर फैक्टर कंज्यूमर टेस्ट एंड प्रेफरेंसेस अगर आपके पास एक पर्टिकुलर गुड के फेवरेबल प्रेफरेंस होगा मतलब इफ यू फेवर दैट गुड इट विल लीड टू इंक्रीज इन क्वान्टिटी डिमांडेड अनफेवरेबल प्रेफरेंसेस will lead to decrease in quantity demanded next one is price of isko bahut dhyan se samajhna because that will be used in next chapter as well price of substitute goods abhi humne discuss kiya substitute goods kaun se hote hain let's suppose we have two goods good a good b if they can be used as an alternative a ki jagah main b use kar sakti hu b ki jagah a use kar sakti hu they are known as substitute goods अब हम डिस्कस कर रहे हैं कि व्हाट विल बी द इम्पैक्ट ऑफ डिमांड ऑफ गुड ए एज अ रिजल्ट ऑफ चेंज इन प्राइस ऑफ गुड बी ठीक है प्राइस गुड बी का चेंज होगा इम्पैक्ट आएगा उसकी गुड ए की डिमांड पे बी क्या है ए का सब्सिट्यूट सो इफ प्राइस ऑफ गुड बी राइजेस व्हाट विल हैपन क्वांटिटी डिमांडेड ऑफ गुड बी विल फॉल फॉल इन क्वान्टिटी डिमांडेड गुड बी की क्वान्टिटी अगर फॉल होगी तो ए की क्वान्टिटी तो बढ़ेगी क्योंकि लोगों को या तो ए कंज्यूम करना है या बी कंज्यूम करना है तो इट विल लीड टू इंक्रीज इन क्वान्टिटी डिमांडेड ऑफ गुड ए बिकॉज पीपल विल शिफ्ट देअर कंजम्पन फ्रॉम बी टू ए सो अगर बी का प्राइस बढ़ रहा है तो ए की क्वांटिटी डिमांडेड बढ़ रही है सो वी हैव पॉजिटिव रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन क्वांटिटी डिमांडेड ऑफ अ गुड एंड प्राइस ऑफ इट्स सब्सटीट्यूट सो इन केस यू हैव एनी डाउट इन दिस सब्सटीट्यूशन इम्पैक्ट लेट्स कमेंट ऑन द चार्ट सेक्शन मेक श्योर दिस इज क्लियर टू एवरी वन स्पेशली टू ऑल दोज हुव येट नॉट स्टडेड इकोनॉमिक्स तो ये सब्सटीट्यूशन इफेक्ट आपको क्लियर होना चाहिए यू कैन नोट इट डाउन एंड देन वी विल मूव टू नेक्स्ट फैक्टर now let's third factor is price of complementary goods ab do goods hain good a good b ab ye substitutes nahi hain Now they are complementary. Complementary का क्या मतलब है लेट सपोज शूज सॉक्स विच आर कंज्यूम टूगेदर जो आप अलग से कंज्यूम नहीं करोगे इनको अगर आप शूज लोगे तो ऑब्वियसली आप सॉक्स लोगे अगर आप सॉक्स लोगे तो ऑब्वियसली आप शूज लोगे देन लेट से पेट्रोल एंड कार दीज आर 
कॉम्प्लीमेंट्री दैट मीन्स कंज्यूम्ड इन कॉम्बिनेशन अब बिकॉज ऑफ दीज आर कॉम्प्लीमेंट्री गुड्स नाउ लेट स्टडी द इम्पैक्ट ऑन क्वान्टिटी डिमांडेड ऑफ गुड ए एज अ रिजल्ट ऑफ चेंज इन प्राइज ऑफ गुड बी गुड बी अब क्या है कॉम्प्लीमेंट्री सो अगेन लेट स्टडी द इम्पैक्ट गुड ए गुड बी ए का प्राइस चेंज नहीं हुआ बी का प्राइस राइज हुआ सो प्राइज ऑफ बी हैज रिजन प्राइस बी का राइज हुआ क्वान्टिटी डिमांडेड ऑफ बी विल फॉल अब बी की अगर फॉल करेगी तो क्योंकि ये दोनों इकट्ठे कंज्यूम होते हैं क्वांटिटी डिमांडेड ऑफ ए विल आल्सो फॉल सो व्हाट्स द इम्पैक्ट इंक्रीज इन प्राइस ऑफ बी हैज रिजल्टेड इन डिक्लाइन इन क्वांटिटी डिमांडेड ऑफ ए दिस इज नोन एज नेगेटिव रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन demand of good a and price of good b which is complementary so just note it down ye dono hi substitution and complementary goods ka case will be used in your elasticity chapter as well so that is why focus on why there is a positive relationship between increase in price of a substitute good and quantity demanded of an alternative good and why there is a negative relationship this will be used in further chapter as well so make sure your doubts are cleared related to this kuch bhi doubts hain just put in the chat section otherwise we are good to go next factor that impacts my demand is consumer income we just discuss that why does law of demand is there because uh, what happens is when the price of a particular good rises the real income has fallen why there is a fall in real income because the purchasing power has dropped now what happens as a result of changes in consumer income so if income rises people purchasing power increases leading to increase in consumption of quantity income falls purchasing power falls leading to drop in quantity demanded नाउ ये कौन से गुड्स के लिए वैलिड है दिस इज वैलिड फॉर नॉर्मल गुड्स नॉर्मल गुड्स में वी से वी हैव डायरेक्ट रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन चेंजेस इन इनकम एंड क्वांटिटी डिमांडेड What are the examples of normal goods? Now, normal goods का आपको केस समझना है What exactly is a normal good? Normal goods are those goods which you consume more when your income rises. Like for example, earlier my income was fifty thousand and I had only uh, I used to travel by scooty. Now my income has risen to one lakh. I will not purchase scooty now. I will go for car. so that means car becomes normal good for you and scooty becomes inferior good for you inferior means when as a result of increase in your income you are reducing the consumption of one particular good that become that good has become inferior for you and when you are increasing consumption of some other good that good has become normal for you now supposingly there was some person who had an income level of 20000 with an income level of 20000 he was earlier consuming bicycle now when his income has risen from 20000 to 30000 he has moved from bicycle to scooty 
so that means as a result of increase in income he has increased his consumption of scooty and dropped his consumption of bicycle so scooty is now a normal good for that person and bicycle is an inferior good so iska matlab ye nahi hai that scooty is an inferior good whether the good is an inferior or not depends on how you behave when you are changing when, when there was a change in income so a good may be inferior for you but may be normal for other a good may be normal for you but may be inferior for other so whether a good is inferior or normal it just depends on how that good changes its quantity as a result of changes in your income level so it doesn't mean that scooty is inferior here it was inferior now here you can see it is normal bicycle has become an inferior for this particular consumer now let's say earlier there was some person who was earning 10000 and he was having no transportation mean he used to travel by foot because he does not used to have any transport vehicle now his income has increased to 20000 and he has purchased a bicycle so bicycle has become now a normal good for this particular person so again bicycle doesn't mean that bicycle will always remain inferior it depends on how the income level changes the consumption so bicycle is a normal good for this particular consumer so normal goods are those which are specific to one particular consumer if there is an increase in income and you are increasing the quantity it becomes normal for you if there is an increase in income and you are decreasing the quantity it becomes inferior for you so write down for this particular section normal goods are goods normal goods are goods for which demand rises normal goods are goods for which demand rises as people's income rises as people's income rises next point inferior goods are goods inferior goods are goods for which demand falls for which demand falls as people's income rise for which demand falls as people's income rise so we had discussed how many factors which impact our demand so the first factor which impacted our demand is price next factor is consumer taste and preferences third one is price of substitute goods fourth is price of complementary goods fifth is your consumer income now let's move to sixth factor expectations of future price changes now if you are expecting that price of a particular good will rise in future you will increase its current consumption so that you can purchase when goods are less expensive so if i am expecting let's say the price of a, a, a price of salt like what we used to do in lockdown there were some expectations that the prices are going to rise so people used to store that particular grocery so that in case there is an increase in the price at least when they have stored they can uh, consume at less prices so that means when you have an expectation that price is going to rise in future you want to store your current goods so they want to increase your current quantity demanded so that you can store them and can use them when the price has risen and you can use them at lower price similarly when we are expecting that price is going to drop in future you will decrease your current consumption so that you can purchase when goods are less expensive you will say let me not purchase the goods today because today the goods are relatively high price there is an expectation that goods uh, prices are going to fall in future so i will be purchasing in future instead of purchasing today so if you are expecting the prices to fall you will decrease your current consumption 
so depending on expectations your current demand will change last factor is distribution of income now if income is distributed in such a manner that majority of the income goes to rich class rich section ke paas agar zyada income rehti hai to there will be more increase in demand for luxury goods kyunki rich kya consume karenge those goods which are not necessity wo to unke paas already hai there will be an increase in demand for luxury goods if we major proportion of income lies with the richer section of the population if major section of income is in the hands of lower or middle section then there will be increase in quantity of necessity goods so just have a quick look at all the factors and then we are moving to next topic just have a quick look at all the factors that impacted your demand and let me know in case you have any doubts anything which you may need to repeat let's move to next topic very important topic movement of demand curve versus shift in demand curve abhi we just discuss what is a demand curve a graph which shows the negative relationship between quantity demanded and price and we discussed why there is a negative relationship because of law of demand now abhi aapne discuss kiya factors kon kon se hain price income price of substitute and alternative goods price of complementary goods expectations this you mean main factors hai theek hai now let's say for corresponding to this point a price was 500 and quantity demanded was 200 so a pe price was 5 quantity demanded was 200 now if there is a change in price let's suppose if there is a drop in price from 500 say 400 so see what is happening in your demand curve you know there will be an increase in quantity let's suppose the quantity is now 300 but what has happened in the demand curve you have moved from point a to point b can i say as a result of drop in price quantity demanded has risen and this has resulted in movement from a to b that means downward movement along demand curve now say let's say if the price has risen from 500 to 600 and your quantity demanded has dropped to 100 so let's suppose if this is 600 quantity demanded has dropped to 100 you have moved from point a to point c so as a result of increase in price there is an upward movement along demand curve so 
whenever there is a change in price there is a movement along my demand curve now let's suppose price is remaining to be constant theek hai price mera 500 hai iske corresponding meri quantity bhi 500 hai mera point a tha प्राइस कांस्टेंट रह रहा है ये आपका प्राइस ये आपकी क्वांटिटी डिमांड ये नॉर्मल गुड है और आपकी इनकम इंक्रीज हुई है अब नॉर्मल गुड के केस में अगर इनकम इंक्रीज हुई है व्हाट विल हैपन क्वांटिटी डिमांडेड विल राइज लेकिन प्राइस अनचेंज रहेगा प्राइस अनचेंज पे मुझे क्वांटिटी डिमांडेड को राइज करना है दैट मीन्स लेट मी लेट से फाइव से सेवन हो रही है अब इसके कॉरस्पॉन्डिंग इफ आई ड्रॉ डिमांड कर्फ तो कुछ कुछ ऐसा बनेगा so can i say there will be rightward shift of demand curve when there is an increase in income let's suppose there is a decrease in income and ye normal good hai to price remains to be same there is a drop in your quantity demanded maybe you have reached to this level so leftward shift ab concept kya hai is cheez ka that if there is change in any of the factor other than price it leads to shift of demand curve kyunki jab tak aapka price change ho raha hai tab tak aapka movement ho rahi hai जब आपका प्राइस स्टेबल है और आपकी डिमांड में चेंजेस आ रहे हैं तो इट इज लीडिंग टू शिफ्ट अगर मेरे किसी फैक्टर की वजह से डिमांड इंक्रीज होगी तो राइटवर्ड शिफ्ट होगा अगर किसी फैक्टर की वजह से डिमांड डिक्रीज होगी तो लेफ्टवर्ड शिफ्ट सो दैट मींस यू कैन हैव फोर टाइप ऑफ चेंजेस लेफ्टवर्ड अपवर्ड मूवमेंट डाउनवर्ड मूवमेंट राइट शिफ्ट leftward shift rightward shift is because of changes in factor other than price but they are they are changing in such a manner that it is leading to increase in my quantity demanded leftward shift is because of changes in factor other than price but they are leading to decrease in quantity upward movement as a result of increase in price downward movement as a result of decrease in price so price change may there will be movement along demand curve factor other than price will lead to shift let's say if i say we have favorable taste so because of favorable taste you know there is an increase in quantity ab aapko sochne ki bhi zarurat nahi hai increase in quantity leads to increase in uh, demand due to which there will be rightward shift clear so this should this is an important section because uh, now since exams are online so you won't be tested on these graphs but you can be tested on the conclusions you can be tested on their interpretation so graph draw karna is not a part of course now but yes you can be tested on whether it can lead to leftward movement rightward movement how it will lead to changes so you should be clear with all these things let's now go for questions discussion corresponding to the topics that we have discussed so far just have a quick look at all the topics let me know in case you have any doubts so start attempting this question
there are five parts of this question start attempting you have five minutes time Guys, start putting your answers in the chat section. Let's start discussing. So two more minutes. So let's start discussing. Question was consider the market for bicycles and explain the way in which demand curve for bicycles would shift in response to each of the following scenarios. So first scenario was consumer income increase and some people will buy a mountain bike as well as a racer. So if people are buying a mountain bike or a racer, how will it impact the demand for bicycle? income rising people buying racer demand for bicycles will increase 
so this will lead to rightward shift of your demand curve consumer income increase some people may now be able to afford a car so may no longer be need a bicycle yahan par bicycle has become an inferior good demand will fall the price of cars increases there is increased provision of cycle lanes price of car increase price of substitute good has risen price of substitute good has risen people will now consume less of car if people are consuming less of car they will consume more of bicycle rightward shift increase in demand for bicycles price of bicycle helmets increases registration of licensing is introduced bicycle helmets increase it's like complementary good so pricing of bicycle helmets has increased people will consume less of bicycles there is more expenses on registration and licensing of bicycles people will need now say let's not purchase bicycles because we will have to pay a lot of license regulations we have to purchase bicycle helmets which are again extremely expensive so they will start decreasing the consumption of bicycles people may believe that cycling is a fun trend and healthy thing to do favorable preferences towards cycling leads to increase in demand this is something which you can get in exam style questions as well so is this clear to everyone different situations asking you to comment on the impact or uh, demand curve any situation which is not clear to any of you there is one question as uh, in case of medicines demand the law cannot be applied yes because in case of medicines demand medicines ek tarike se necessity goods ban jata hai and in case of necessity goods even if the price keeps on rising we will still not purchase ye hum log giffen goods ke case mein ye cheeze discuss karenge to it is a part of course but not in this chapter we will be doing this in uh, other chapters so we will be discussing some exceptions to law of demand so by this medicine is that particular type of exception okay so any doubts to any one in this particular question anything which is not clear in this question any situation let's move to next question now start attempting this question make sure you are reading the question very well and then answering i want correct inputs from you guys so start reading and then answer me with the correct point guys comment those who are done comment your answer in the chat section question is if a fall in the price of good x causes the demand for good y to shift to right then x and y are complements x and y are substitutes x is a normal good y is an inferior x is an inferior y is a normal ab dekho c nahi ho sakta d nahi ho sakta why because inferior ya normal 
इज ओनली बिकॉज ऑफ चेंजेस इन इनकम यहां पे क्या हो रहा है बिकॉज ऑफ चेंज इन द प्राइस ऑफ एक्स इट इज लीडिंग टू चेंज इन द डिमांड फॉर वाई दैट मीन्स इधर द गुड इज कॉम्प्लीमेंट्री और इट इज सब्सटीट्यूट लेट सी वॉट इट इज फॉल इन द प्राइज ऑफ गुड एक्स सो प्राइज ऑफ एक्स इज फॉलोइंग यू नो इफ प्राइज ऑफ एक्स फॉल्स क्वान्टिटी डिमांडेड ऑफ एक्स राइजेस नाउ इफ फॉल इन द प्राइज ऑफ गुड एक्स कॉज इज द डिमांड कप फॉर गुड वाई टू शिफ्ट इफ डिमांड कप फॉर गुड वाई इज शिफ्टिंग टू राइट दैट मीन्स देर इज एन इंक्रीज इन क्वान्टिटी ऑफ गुड वाई so what is happening is quantity of good x is rising quantity of good y is rising as a result of decrease in price so we have inverse relation inverse relation kis mein hota hai in case of complementary complementary ke case mein ek ka price kam hua uski quantity badi lekin ek ki quantity badi uske sath dusre ki quantity bhi bad gayi so that means these are complementary goods so option is a when this type of question comes in exam they don't want these detailed explanations from you we are sharing detailed explanation because it is the start so that you become more comfortable with the basics once you are comfortable with the basics you can even give me the direct uh, point option without even giving me any of the details so these details are just for the first or second class so that you guys become more comfortable with the basics we have just started so agar aap se abhi nahi ho bhi pa raha it's completely okay because this is just the start we will be doing two at least two more chapter i mean at least two more classes specifically only and only on these discussions so when we are doing lot of questions you you will obviously automatically get an idea to agar abhi aap se instantly nahi bhi ho rahe questions to be it's completely okay because the other two classes are again diverted for the same topic only let's do one more question so question is ab uh, this should be the student instantly strike your mind you should not take much time for this particular type of question question is good x is an inferior good what's an inferior good if income rises sorry quantity demanded falls ye ho gaye inferior good ki definition now they are saying good x is an inferior good increase in income will cause quantity demanded to fall that means leftward shift of my demand curve there will be no movement we cannot have option c or d because abhi humne discuss kiya movement kab hoti hai only and only in case of change in price if there is a change in any of the factor other than price it will not change it will not lead to movement it will lead to shift if there is an increase in demand it will lead to rightward shift if there is a decrease in demand it will lead to leftward shift in this case it's an inferior good you know for inferior good if there is an increase in income it leads to less of quantity demanded so that means leftward shift of my demand curve let's do one more question question number 2 start attempting question 3.2 which one of the following events would shift the demand curve for good x to the left
only one minute for this answer which one of the following events would shift the demand curve for good x to the left let's discuss change kya ho raha hai demand curve is shifting that means quantity demanded is falling if demand curve is shifting iska matlab price mein change nahi aaya so we cannot have option a increase in cost of supplying good x that's a supply factor we cannot have option d bacha kya b or c we abhi humne last pehle discuss kiya substitution effect mein we have positive relationship कॉम्प्लीमेंट्री इफेक्ट में वी हैव नेगेटिव रिलेशनशिप पॉजिटिव रिलेशनशिप कैसे इफ देर इज एन इंक्रीज इन प्राइस ऑफ सब्सिट्यूट गुड इट विल लीड टू डिक्रीज इन क्वांटिटी ऑफ सब्सिट्यूट गुड डिक्रीज इन क्वांटिटी ऑफ सब्सिट्यूट गुड विल लीड टू इंक्रीज इन क्वांटिटी ऑफ योर गुड बिकॉज पीपल विल शिफ्ट फ्रॉम सब्सिट्यूट टू यू सो वी हैव पॉजिटिव रिलेशनशिप इन केस ऑफ सब्सिट्यूट नाउ वॉट इज हैपनिंग देर इज अ डिमांड फॉल नाउ डिक्रीज इन प्राइज ऑफ सब्सिट्यूट गुड विल लीड टू डिक्रीज इन डिमांड येस सो ऑप्शन इज बी how decrease in price of substitute good will lead to increase in the quantity demanded of substitute good increase in quantity demanded of substitute good means that means people will shift from the current good to the substitute good so they will decrease the quantity of their current good and will shift their consumption from this good to the substitute good so decrease in quantity of current good will lead to shift of demand curve leftward shift leftward shift ka matlab hi yahi hai ki aapki quantity demanded fall ho rahi hai aur abhi humne discuss kiya hai substitute ke case mein positive relationship so you can see fall in quantity demanded fall in price so my answer is b mujhe baki ke options dekhne bhi nahi hai अगर आप इंस्टेंटली पहले एक फर्स्ट ऑप्शन करेक्ट चूज कर रहे यू डोंट इवन हैव टू लुक फॉर दी अदर ऑप्शन यू हैव टू बी सो स्ट्रॉन्ग वाइल यू आर अंडरस्टैंडिंग ये अभी आपके लिए इतना इजीली अभी यू विल टेक फाइव मिनट्स टू सॉल्व बिकॉज द बेसिक्स आर नॉट ऑन योर टिप्स आफ्टर टू थ्री क्लासेस फॉर दिस कंटेंट यू शुड बी इजी टू सॉल्व सो विद दिस द डिमांड सेक्शन इज ओवर इन द नेक्स्ट क्लास आई विल बी टेकिंग ओवर द क्वेश्चन मोर ऑफ क्वेश्चन डिस्कशन for this particular topic then we will move to supply we will wind up supply then we will have one more class for question discussion of supply and then we can have together class for the entire chapter 3 that means at least two to three classes more are there for this particular chapter so these are important chapters i am going slow so that you guys become more comfortable with the basics okay so that's it from my side for the day Thank you